This week on Simply Ming, James Beard award-winning chef and great friend Susan Regis joins us from her restaurant in Cambridge, Massachusetts called Shepherd. Susan will start out by making a rye berry salad with wine cap mushrooms along with leeks, ramps, and bishop sweet, all put on top of an herb creme fiche. We're gonna pop some amaranth. Look at it go. Okay, it gets a little bit so wild. So cool. I'll follow it up with a coriander crusted salmon and quinoa with an asparagus salad and asparagus salsa. And to get things rolling, we're gonna start off with a great cocktail, the Blue Samoan. That's all coming up next as we cook right here at home on Simply Ming. I'm so excited to welcome Susan Regis into my home. Hi. Hi, Ming. Nice to have Good you to here. Good to see you. How's Shepard going? Good to be here. Shepard's going great. She's we, got uh, great. I, I haven't been in. I apologize. I've had Susan's food before over the years. Um, you, congrats. It's fun to. So is it fun to open another restaurant? You know, it's a challenge. So I've never, I've never actually owned one. So right. It's, it's a bit different. It is different. To start off our cooking, I'll make you a blue Samoan. So if you could, there's two tiki glasses. You got it. And fill it with this crushed ice for me. All right, guys, so I'm gonna start this off. This has uh, three ounces of vodka. Get the best vodka you can get. That's what I always say. Usually the more filtered, more distilled, the better. All right, so three ounces of that. We then do four ounces of pineapple juice. If you have a juicer, and you know this, Susan, juice them yourself, that would be awesome. Um, if not, can's pretty good. So that's three, let's add one more, that's four. This is a real fun drink. We're then gonna add one and a half ounces of, of Coco Lopez, which is the pineapple, the uh, coconut butter nectar, which makes every drink taste so good. We're mm -hmm. gonna also add one and a half ounces of fresh lemon juice, a little extra, and then blue carousel, right? One and a half ounces, this gives you the blue Hawaii color, all right, so then, this we just mix really, oh wait, sorry, almost forgot the bitters. Don't Orange bitters. bitters, you need a little bitter, just a couple. This drink is, has sweetness because of the Coco Lopez, right? Give it a good mix. It's a good start, right. man. So it's nice and cold there. Ah, smells good. Smells like the islands. All right, fill this up, look at that. Funky color, huh? But that's the Coco Lopez giving it that color. I think give me a little bit more of that crushed ice on top just to fill it to the top. Thank you. Nice, yeah, I like it up and over. Yeah. Perfect. Because we can, an umbrella. Because we can, And right? then we drink. And then because we can, a matching straw. I love the straw. This is by far our funnest drink we've ever made here. Because we're the funnest? Yeah, because you're the funnest. Thank Cheers you so you. much. How do we do? I like this part. <laughs> Ooh, All right, great. let's go great. cook. Great. Okay. We're going to go cook. All right, Susan, what's your dish? Okay, so today we're going to make a whole grain salad with okay. some foraged bluefoot mushrooms garnished with, it's called uh, goat foot or bishop's wheat. Okay. Let's do it. What so can it's I? Super can I healthy. Help? It's for chefs that don't always eat so well. Uh, it's kind of what? a go-to. Have it so around. So you like grains too? I right? love grains. And actually, this is. Okay. A so this is a rye berry. Okay. And that's what we're going to use for the base of the salad. Okay. This is called triticale, which is a whole. Uh, it's a wheat and rye berry cross. And sprouted. And we sprouted it. So can we chop? Yeah, can we sure. dice. What are we doing? So we're going to dice a maripois. Okay. And make a little. Okay, garni so what, for the grains. Carrot? I'll do the carrot. You do the carrot, I'll do the leek. So, and celery, like half inch pieces. Half inch dice, okay, got it. You don't have to be too fancy. Buke garni usually means something that's done in cheesecloth, I guess, right? And that's exactly what we're gonna do. Though okay. you don't necessarily have to do that. If you wanna leave the mirepoix in the grains, you could do it a little smaller and it would be just fine. We're gonna cook that in a little grapeseed oil. All right, so celery here. I think that's on. Yep. Is it on? Okay, I'll bring this over for you. Smash a couple cloves. So leeks, celery, and carrots, right? Yes. Okay. I like smashed garlic. 
kind of. Uh, All right. Add what else some you have? thyme and bay leaf. Put no uh, pepper. I probably wouldn't, but. Well, then does not. So this takes. Don't put pepper. <laughs> Actually, you can if you want. So this will take what five minutes to sweat down? Yes. Okay. So we're gonna sweat that down. All right. What else can I do? Can I do any of this um, stuff here? <clears throat> yes. So these are bluefoot mushrooms that right. were foraged locally. They're. Called bluefoot because often the stem has, has a tinge of uh, do you use lilac. the stems or you use, take them I off? do not use the stems. So, so just dice like that. While you're doing that, I'm going to cut up some of these spring alliums. Um, at the restaurant, we have a wood burning oven and grill. So wood's a big part of what we do. Nice. So we just take these, put a little olive oil, and put them in the wood oven to get like that smoky yumminess. Um, today, we're going to just cook them in the cast iron. These are spring onions. How about um, you have a couple ramps here, so the same thing. These are spring onions. For later. Yes, you can you can do those as well. Okay. So we're going to start with the mushrooms. We'll add our alliums. I'm going to save these spring onion tops for our uh, herb puree for the creme fraiche awesome. that we'll. So make this goes in the cast iron. That's right. With grapeseed. Yes. All right. And you want it pretty hot. Pretty hot. So these will take about four or five minutes to sweat down. Mushrooms take about the same? About the same. All right, so we come back, we're gonna start cooking some rye berries. Perfect. Okay, those mushrooms look great. That's good, right? It's been about five minutes. Look how crispy they got. I love that. So what goes next? All right. We're gonna add <clears throat> our spring onion. Okay. And, and the our ramps, ramps. Right? Yes. Okay. And again, we're gonna just give them a quick sear. Um, We'll add a little, a little salt, salt to this. No pepper? I don't know. <laughs> I, okay. like to, no, no I like to wait to the very end to I add the you. fresh pepper. All right, so here's the mirror plus. Okay. So the mirror down down looks nice great. This takes five minutes. We are going to right, put, put the mirror pot into our cheese cup. Right. And explain why we're doing this. Okay. This is a way to get the flavor of the vegetables and not have to like pick out bigger pieces out of your okay. grains once they're done. So Traditional bouquet garni is actually not mirepoix, right? You got bay leaf, right. thyme leaf, sometimes rosemary. Um, and again, they do it in the sachet. And so that, sachet away? Oh, we can do the same pan, Go back right? into that pan. Okay, awesome. And so inside? Yep, go right ahead. Boom. Um, I'm going to add a teeny bit of yeah, grapeseed oil. Put these in are the rye berries. These are our rye berries. What's the ratio? I do to cover. I do to so cover. That's, that's good. That's, that's, that's my helpful. ratio. It's very scientific. No, that's good. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I like to give them a toss in the oil. Um, to, to toast it a little bit? Toast it just a little bit. Go ahead, add it. Add this, okay. Perfect. We're gonna cover with water. So as shepherd, you use a lot of these grains? Is this, a, this is how? Well, I love grains. Right. So we we've been using them in different in different iterations. So how long does this cook? Do you that cover or you just go like this? I just go like this. Yeah. So that's about 25 minutes. You want to keep tasting it. Okay. You want it to have a little a little bite, so a little al dente, okay. but and you know, mushrooms. What grain, what absolutely? So you don't have to worry about that too much. Okay, we are done. You're done with these? these? Yep. Great. Just turn and this this is part of the salad. That's going into the salad. So I'll put them in this bowl here. So just let these cool off from temp. Yes. All right, so these mushrooms are good. You have Perfect. some herbs over there? What are we doing with all I those, do. Susan? What we're what gonna here? do is we have spinach, yeah. parsley, I have the tops of the spring onions, right. and some basil. And basil. Again, you can use a variety and of We're blanching things, them? But okay. Like some salt these in are here? Good. Yes, go for it. Hearty salt. Hearty salt, love it. Sure, okay. Chef. okay. Yes. Okay, great. Okay, we're gonna take parsley. And All this? ready, do the dump. Okay, so what we're gonna do is blanch these herbs. So you got spinach, you got parsley, you got spring basil, onion tops, spring basil. onion tops. Okay. And how Blanch those quickly. This will take one. It's usually the seven second blanch. Right. So give them a stir. We have our ice to shock them. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Ready, go. Okay. These can come out. You're a good listener. <laughs> yeah, I try. <laughs> it's important to shock it in nice water to stop the cooking. Right. Keep it green. Keep all that chlorophyll. Okay. Shock okay. this. All right, I'll give you this. All Excellent. right, chef, here you go. Fabulous. Now what? <clears throat> so we're gonna give them a quick puree. Okay. Awesome. 
awesome. Into the blender cup. Arr, come on, baby. Let's see. There you go. Okay, let's give it a go. All right. Gonna need a little, a little. water. Excellent. Which is seasoned, right? That had salt in it. That is. Actually, no, it didn't have salt in it. Sorry, this one had salt in it. Water so. and salt. Good? Yep. Okay. That was easy. And here you have creme fraiche, right? So this this you made. Can you explain how you make your creme fraiche? So at Shepherd we make our own butter. It's cultured butter. So we take cream and buttermilk and make creme fraiche. We then let that sit out for a while, then we break it to make butter. So, so this it, is the creme fraiche right before in. it becomes butter. Okay. Right. So pour this in here? Ah uh, yes, go ahead. Say when. Stop. So pretty. Look how bright green that is. That's the shocking and salted hot water and then ice water. Beautiful. That's right. That Fresh looks awesome. And simple. All right, so we have this. This is your base. We have your rye berries. They're about another 10 minutes. Yes. We're ready to play it up. I think we're ready to assemble. Right, 10 minutes. We're going to put it together. Okay, so we're just about ready. One last final touch, which is really fun, Sorry. is we're going to pop some amaranth. Again, another amazing grain that okay. magically pops like popcorn. Look at it go. Okay, it gets it a little bit so wild. That is so cool. That is so cool. That is so cool. I've never seen that before. And it tastes really like It smells popcorn. like popcorn. Okay, so. That's so cool. That was no oil. It's just a medium hot pan. Okay, let's plate, Chef. Great. Here we go. We have our rye berries. We're going to add some of our sprouted triticale. Okay. Sweet okay. for you. I'm going to season before I toss. Oops. Okay, there you go. Uh -huh. yeah. Made in China. <laughs> Upside down. I can say that. <laughs> and uh, okay. a little extra virgin. Uh, again, very simple. Love it. I see lemon here. Do you want this cut up for you? Let's cut that, chef. Okay. Oh my gosh. And that goes in here. Please. I think we can drink a lot more if we eat more grains. <laughs> okay, we're gonna add our mushrooms. Oh, and nice. And our alliums. And then we plate. You're just building flavor on flavor on flavor. It's things that you can have around and make good use of. Let's plate it. You know, the nice thing too is if you have a grill and you use wood charcoal, right. feel free to do things like that, have them around. Okay. I love big bowls like that. These are gorgeous. And I think at home, everyone out there, you want your food to look good. Even if you're only cooking for your kids and family, right? Oh, look at that. So now we're going to garnish with, uh, this is called bishop's weed, right. gout weed, or goat's foot. Um, it grows everywhere. And wow. I think it's in the parsley family. Yeah. And it was called awesome. bishop's weed because the monks would eat it because it was supposed to inhibit gout, and that's why it's called hmm. gout weed too. Good to know. Okay, um, pick some of that, please. Okay. Please. We have some dill. Dill's going to complement the creme fraiche, and because this is about foraged and fresh, we're going to have these are some mustard flowers. We have some wild sorrel. We have some chive blossoms. Take Are you going to garnish that one, or do you want me to? Oh, I can do it. Make it pretty, please. Um, that's a little wild sorrel. This looks right. awesome. For our final touch, yep. we take our pupped amaranth. Which, which is, is really make, cool. I love that flavor. It tastes like popcorn. Yeah, so make this for your kids and just eat it. All okay. right, now we get to eat. Fantastic. Over here. Yay! And drink some more. Yes. Uh, I have a fantastic Burgundian Chardonnay for Perfect. us. All right. I think this Chardonnay should go great with your dish and then with our salmon dish as well. Sounds Mademoiselle. Good. Looks lovely. I love your dish. It is so beautiful. Uh, I know what's in it. So I know it's good for you too, but I know and it's going to taste. We're awesome. going to feel so good. Yes. Susan, Cheers. thank you. Thank you Cheers. so much. All right, let's try this. It's delicious. 
Mm -hmm. And you know what? It's as meaty as meat, right? Those mushrooms exactly. look so meaty. It's hearty mm. and light. But al dente, there's actually still mm. a texture to that, which is awesome. And um, you know what? That popped amaranth, that's the hero. Jeff, you're the best, but you know what? You're not done. You're going to be my sous chef, please. I'm going to do a quick salmon dish. Thank you Jeff. so much. Stick around for the salmon. Susan, that dish was awesome. You're awesome. So good. My grains I'm using are red and white quinoa. All right, so we're gonna get that going. If you give me half an onion, this is a very easy dish. We do a coin encrusted salmon with an asparagus salad and some quinoa. So in a pan, we're gonna take half an onion and just get this, a little bit of translucent, a little salt. Unlike Susan, I'm gonna use a little pepper. So we're gonna get this going. Once these onions get nice and soft, I'm gonna add both the quinoa. Um, we can go ahead and I'll take the other onion. So in the other pan, I'm gonna make an asparagus sauce, which honestly started as an asparagus soup, but it's so good, we're gonna add a little extra butter and make it a sauce, all right? So in this pan here, we're gonna add just a little bit of grapeseed. We're gonna add some garlic and ginger. So a tablespoon of garlic, a nice heaping tablespoon of ginger. And I'll take those onions from you, Chef. Are we? Swap out and give you those. Thank you. All right, so that's working there. What we can do here with the salmon, we'll do four really nice pieces. So these are scaled, right? So we're gonna eat the skin, which I love. This is a coriander. And we're going to just season the it's, uh, top side. Toasted or? Uh, untoasted. Just lay them in, because it's going in the pan. Exactly. Like that. The skin side was seasoned with more salt. We don't need coriander on both sides because coriander is a pretty strong spice. All right. There we go. So here, I'll give that to you. Thank you, chef. Mm -hmm. So now this in a cast iron pan, again with grapeseed oil. Here we're gonna go on medium heat in the cast iron. Move this around. We don't want it too hot because you don't want the, you don't want the, uh, the spices to burn. All right, so medium heat, like this, and we'll finish it by flipping it over and getting the skin side crispy. All right, so there we have that. So now these onions are nice and soft. We're gonna mix both of the quinoa. It's a two to one ratio, meaning uh, two parts liquid to one part um, water or stock. Since we have chicken stock here, I'm gonna use hot chicken stock. So two to one. All right, so that was basically, so I need four of these, because I had two of these filled up. Two, three. And by the way, you could saute the quinoa, right? You'd probably do that, Susan, right? You can saute, get a little bit nutty. But here it has so much flavor. I'm just gonna let it mix this way. So this, Takes about 20, 15 minutes maybe all in. You just bring it to a simmer, let it go really nice and slowly. And after about 20 minutes, you end up with this. Fully absorbed, right? It's such a great garnish. Chef, give it a try. And See, healthy like. too. It's so healthy. Salt, pepper, that's it. We have this going. How's that? It's okay? <laughs> You're the best. All right, so now these onions are nice and soft. We're gonna go ahead and season liberally a Big amount of salt because I'm gonna add my chicken stock. And again, this is gonna be my shocking liquid for the asparagus, so this is the base of my asparagus sauce. So now to this, I'm gonna add my chick stock and just deglaze all this. And we have to get this chicken stock up to a boil, so it should taste like seawater. That's how salty it should be. All right, awesome. So this is gonna take two minutes to come. You have to make sure it's boiling before you add the asparagus. So we'll come back in two minutes. These will be flipped and then we'll be able to plate up. Easy peasy. All right, chef, so now I'm gonna ask you, if you don't mind, zest me a lemon, juice of half a lemon, a touch of olive oil, it's gonna do the salsa, as I'm calling it. So here's a spare, I had too many bunches. I cut them all up, but I saved some tops here. So I'm gonna first literally just put in this hot chicken stock. This is very salted. And I just wanna take the rawness out of this, right? So it's gonna be some of these cooked onions. And that's it. And then I'm gonna take these, 
shock these, okay? Just to stop that. Got a couple more asparagus here. And this is gonna be the salsa. All right, there you go. Miss Regis, for you. Onion asparagus yeah. salsa. There we go. All right. So we're gonna add all of this asparagus. These are the bottoms. We, we took about the bottom third off, right, because they're a little tough. You can't just do bottoms only. The, some great flavors in the, in the tops of the asparagus. So here, you just want to cook it till the asparagus gets soft. It's going to take about two minutes. I don't want to get it too soft, because I want to keep the brightness of that, all right? And as soon as that's done, it's going to go into a blender. So that's going to be about two minutes, and we'll be able to puree the asparagus sauce, and we can plate all this off. Sounds great. All right, Susan, so once this comes to simmer, this asparagus is now ready to make my sauce. Perfect. I'm gonna come to a blender. In here. With the hot liquids, you guys gotta be careful, okay? So. You gotta be really careful with hot liquids. I'm gonna add a nice handful of spinach. This will help keep this sauce nice and green. All right, so go slow. Nice and green. Now we add butter. This is two sticks. I'm probably going to add about a, I don't know, half a stick. The more, the better. I'm going to stop it right there. Awesome. Let's come over here, Mr. Sauce. And we can plate this up. Keep your sauce hot in the pan like this. So what we're going to do first is just take some quinoa, which I love. Such a great grain. Protein. protein. Uh, look how nicely cooked that is, guys, right? We went nice and slow. That's great. Save the skin. Two pieces of salmon, like that. We have our sauce. And be liberal with this, guys, right? You can pour right on the side. Perfect spring. And it'll go all the way around, hopefully, everything. Oops. All right, Susan, you're going to make that look nice and pretty for me, please. Thank you. Sauce all the way around. Salsa meat, please. The dish is done. Chef, you grab the wine. I got the salmon. Let's eat. I'm in. All right. Merci. There you go. So, like you said, spring color, right? So pretty. Love asparagus. And Fresh, lovely. But that's how I like my salmon Delicious. cooked, right? I like my salmon this medium rare. I, th I think when you go too much on your salmon, Oh my god, this is perfectly cooked. Didn't go too fast, just right. Mm. I don't know. What do you think, Chef? Mm. I'm a happy girl. How do we do? I think they're great combinations. It is. And I'm very happy. It was a lot of fun. You're Thank you happy. so much. I, know, I love you, Susan. I know. So nice to have you here. It was great to be here. She can cook. Get yourself to Cambridge, Mass. Go to Shepherd. You're going to eat some fantastic food. You don't even need meat. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Whole grains are good for you, and as always, peace and good eating. Cheers.